Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be filming my everyday look. So stay tuned and keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe so to my channel. starters. I'm gonna start off with filling in my eyebrows. As always, I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. This is honestly one of my favorite fillers for the eyebrows. A little goes a very long way, so don't use too much. Okay? Okay. So I'm gonna start off with the arch over here, like that. So you're just basically gonna shape out your eyebrows. And the problem with a lot of girls, most of the time, they fill in from here, and it doesn't look natural. So basically I just fill that in, then I fill it in like that. And then from there, I just make a little line just for down here. And I don't make a line up here because that's when it starts to look like you look like you got Sharpies on your eye. So don't do that. Don't do that. Then you're going to take the spoolie side and just blend that out like so. Then you got yourself an eyebrow. <laughs> Then from there, you're just gonna get, I use this LA Pro Concealer for, from LA Girl, yeah, in the shade Natural, just to shape out my eyebrows. And then after that, you're gonna take the sponge and then blend that out. And just, don't squeeze too hard on this because it comes out a lot. So basically, you're just gonna shape out your eyebrows like so. And then from there, you just blend that out. See right now, I put way too much. That's okay and take it like that and shape out your eyebrows like so you can go out like this if you want to but you're gonna look right then you're gonna get your beauty blender and you're gonna don't rub because rubbing is horrible and it's like ripping your skin supposedly if that's the correct term but you're just gonna blend it out and then you got yourself an eyebrow. And it should look like that. Now for the eyes, I'm just going to do something very simple because if it's just going to be an everyday look, you don't want to go all out. So I'm going to start off with this brush. I got it in an Etsy bag. I'm not sure what it is. But I use it to set my eyeshadow primer, which is the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. And that you're just going to set it in your eye. This is basically like for your eye primer, I guess you can say. But these things are bomb. So once you set that like this, I just pat it down with my finger just to blend it out. That way there's no like too much product. Then after that, I just take any translucent powder. Today I'm gonna be trying out the Kat Von D translucent powder for the first time. I got the little sample. So we're gonna test that out. Where's my brush? I'm taking the Morphe Y16 and I'm just patting, dabbing it a little bit like that. And then I'm just gonna put it on here. This is so that your eyeshadows don't crease and that you just set it right away for eyeshadow. So you should look like that, a uh, plain base for now. My eyebrows are looking really good. I don't even got them done, guys. So it should look like that. Now for eyeshadow palette today, I'm using the Tartiste Pro Palette. Guys, this palette, if you haven't got it, it's permanent, so you should get it. It's like really bomb. Like the colors are really good. These are all chrome colors. They come out really nice. So I'm gonna start off with the shade uh, Whimsy, which is this shade up here, which is like a RC, uh, uh, a RNG shade, RC, RC, but the fuck, I got RC. So that's just gonna go on my crease right here. Oh, this shit is pigmented central, Jesus. 
this is what you don't want guys because that is terrible so what you're gonna do is get a clean brush like so and blend it out because we don't need that that was horrible just make sure you blend it out because sometimes girls be leaving their eyeshadow like this and don't worry about the excess because you don't got foundation but girls be leaving their eyeshadow like this and it takes a while to fix and it's a lot of sweeping back and forth but you don't want to walk out like with your eyeshadow looking like that because trust me when I was younger I thought that was okay okay you don't want to walk out like that so just basically blend it to where you feel like you don't gotta blend no more but just make sure that you saw the way the line looked like it did not look like this it just looked like very pigmented you do never 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 walk out like that so right now I'm just going back and forth and then you just keep swiping back and forth okay now I feel like that's okay see that's okay don't walk out with your thing the way it was before because that is horrible don't walk out like that it's horrible Just to make it a little bit more smokier, I guess you can say, I'm gonna go in with this shade down here, and it's the shade Edgy, and it's like a deeper brown, I guess you can say. Make sure you tap off that excess, and you're just gonna go right where you put that transition color, and just go like this, like so. I normally just put it with one brush, and then I take that that other brush that I used before and blend it out again. So oh guys, and the brushes that I'm using right now are from Morphe. If you guys have not checked out Morphe brushes, they work just as good. So, you're just going to blend that out. Make sure it's not harsh, because you don't need no harsh lines. And this is normally what I would do on an everyday look. I know other people look like plain depends on my day like if I have enough time to do this I do this if not you're just gonna see me with mascara and lip gloss and it should look like that now for my lid color I'm going to be using this white right here it's like a, a eggshell color it's called classic and you're just gonna put that on your lid and this, I love this color because it's very pigmented for a white color. Normally, I'm not very fond of these colors, but I like it. You guys, you know it's weird. I normally put glitter on my looks. But, since this is an everyday look, no glitter today. Probably in the inner corner with the highlighter, but... No glitter today, guys. Sorry. Now, since I put that lid color, I'm just gonna go in with whatever excess is here just to blend it out a little bit. You don't want it to, that white to look too harsh. And the brush that I'm using is the Y19 from the Morphe Gold Collection. And basically, you're gonna have this so far. Part that I love the most but I hate the most at the same time eyeliner you guys this is like you can't breathe for this part because you just can't so I'm using the Stella stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner this is my favorite eyeliner so you're gonna start off like so you don't have to put eyeliner but I like eyeliner I feel like it makes my eyes stand out more 
still. Told you I can't reef. Then it's like I feel like I can't freaking breathe because I feel like if I move, it's gonna mess up. There you go. Guys, I really hate the way this eyeliner came out, so I'm gonna like chop that off a little bit. Like that. And that is how you fix eyeliner, guys. Wasn't that hard, was it? I just go like this. And you fixed your eyeliner. Now, if you're like me, where you don't use foundation, I use this one. But I'm going to skip out on that today because uh, I know. If, you're, if this is just like an everyday look, you don't got to put foundation on. So I'm just going to go on with my contour palette right away. And I'm just going to carve it out like so. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Yep. And I'm just going to carve this out. Uh, oh, top secret. Well, I guess you could say top secret. I don't really like putting foundation because I have freckles and beauty marks and I feel like once I put foundation on it always disappears like it goes under these don't look as dark as they as they are right now so I don't really use foundation and on top of that I feel like I don't need it I don't know if that makes sense but well I don't I don't feel like a lot of girls need foundation but it's just a makeup thing. I just put it, normally I just put foundation on when I have like an event to go to or there's like a party in my house or whatever it is. So that I could look, I guess, extra flawless, I guess you could say. And you're just gonna put this on your neck to blend it out like so. And then you're gonna have that. Like that. And make sure you blend this out on the top only because when you don't blend out the top, it starts to look like a, they call it the helmet head. But just make sure you blend it out like that. And then, you're good. For highlighting today, I'm using this palette, which is a Tartiste Pro Glow Palette. Blah, blah, blah. Pro Glow Palette. Jesus, tongue twister. Um, this, I've had it for a while, but I don't use it, guys. You know when you just buy something because you think it's so pretty and then you forget that you have it? That's what happened with this one. So it comes with four highlighting shades. Jesus. And it comes with a sculpting powder and a cream powder for the contour. And I'm going to use the shade up here, which is called Lit. And a little goes a long way, but if you're like me, I like highlighting. So... It's gonna go up here like that. Woo! Guys, top secret again. Highlighting is my favorite part. It really is. It's like, you know when you feed the kids candy and it's like makes their day and then, then you give them cake afterwards? That's how I feel when I put highlighting. <laughs> You're just gonna put it on the tippy top like this. Oh, that is so nice. Then you put it on your nose, like that, and I put it right here too. Mostly on your nose, on the top of your lip, like that, and here. And then I'm gonna take this brush. And then I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. I told you it was coming, guys. Just so it could stand out a little bit. Because I feel like my eyes look like so dull. So, put that in your inner corner like that. And that is the highlighting. 
go. Now for lips, I'm just gonna go in with Max Lip Liner More to Love. And then I'm just gonna outline my lips a little bit. Not too much, because I'm just gonna put the lipstick on top of it. This is like pink, but it's supposed to be red. And you're gonna look like that. You know this used to be a trend back then, like just lipstick, I mean just the lip liner. And then I'm gonna use Retro Matte Ruby Woo MAC lipstick. Uh, another fun fact, red is my favorite color. Well, for lipstick. My actual favorite color, if you haven't watched my Q&A, well, did I see it in my Q&A? Oh, no. But my actual favorite color is purple. Now guys, this one takes a lot to um, put on because it's a retro matte, so it's very drying. But I like this color because it has a blue tone to it. And because it's red. Who doesn't like red? Okay guys, so that is basically my everyday look. I think it's pretty simple, I don't think it's too hard. I love red lipstick, but you can switch it off with a nude lipstick, a brown lipstick, whatever you prefer. But this is basically what I do on an everyday basis, if I'm not working, just saying. Because if I'm not working, I'll do this. But if I'm tired, you'll just see me with mascara and lip gloss, okay? So yeah, basically that's it. I think it's not that hard to do. If you guys want to watch anything else on my channel, just leave it down below in the comment box. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know what you want to see because I want to be different. I really want to be different. I want you guys to know me and who I am. So if you guys want to keep on watching my videos, please subscribe, like my channel, share my videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.